Questions 57 to 59 in the ASIC green paper. So the trick to answering question 57 is figuring out what the individual R values are. So we know that propanol um, and ethanol are our two reactants. So propanol looks like this. If we just convert it from that, uh, convert it into its structural form. So if we sort of match this up with our um, the sort of template aldehyde form, well, we can clearly see that R is equal to CH3CH2. Right, so these two values are the same. Um, and if we do the same thing for ethanol, well, ethanol is just going to look like this. So again, our R dash value is going to be um, CH3, CH2. So to figure out what our hemiacetal looks like, we just need to sub in these into the um, hemiacetal template, so the individual R and R dash um, alkyl groups. So once we do that, what we get is we get CH3, CH2, CH, OH. <clears throat> CH2, CH3. So that's what our hemiacetal looks like. Um, if we sub in all of the R dash and R values into that hemiacetal, and that gives us the answer of C for question 57. So 58 is pretty much the same as 57, just in the other direction. So looking at our hemiacetal, we have this. And if we just take a look at what the, um, in green, we have a three carbon alkyl chain. So our R group, this one, is going to be a three carbon alkyl chain. So when we work out what sort of reactant we'd have to have in order to get this hemiacetal, we know that this R group is this CH3, CH2, CH2 structure. So what sort of compound do we have if we add um, CH3, CH2, CH2 onto this template? Well, what we get is we get butanol. So we'd expect our aldehyde, therefore, in the answers to be butanol. If we look through A, B, C, and D, you'll find that only C has butanol as a potential answer. So therefore, C um, is the correct answer for question 58. In question 59, there are two structures with the hemiacetal structure within them. Um, and I've blown them up here and highlighted them in red. So in uh, option two, we have this ch 3 och 2 oh And as a actual sort of structure, we, we get this. And in red is that hemiacetal structure. As for uh, option three, well, we have this ring structure. Um, however, just because it's a ring doesn't mean that um, it can't be a hemiacetal. And indeed, we have that hemiacetal structure highlighted in red. So to answer this question, you really just got to sort of go through that uh, the information they've given you on what a hemiacetal looks like. It's that um, central bit between the two R groups, the uh, carbon, which is attached to the um, oxygen, the hydroxy group, and the hydrogen. So um, you've just got to sort of identify what makes a hemi to acetal or hemiacetal and sort of figure out which um, of the options has that. And um, if you sort of draw it out, you should hopefully be able to find that. So for question 59, um, D is the correct answer. Two options two and three have uh, hemiacetals.